gorge. Gorge. Ugh. Stop. Stop. Babe. Babe. Mitchell. Mitchell. Oh, oh my god. god. You guys. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? I cannot stand you. Stop. Are you guys Can hearing you? him? What is your problem? Good morning, y'all. We are doing a cooking class today. I am so excited. I cannot believe that Mitch and I have never done a cooking class together and I've actually never done one alone either. So this is gonna be a really fun experience. I'll get as much footage as I can on my phone, but oh my God, I'm so excited and it's gonna be a good day. I'm not sure what else we're doing for today, but this thing is like three hours long. So we'll see what else we get up to. Sounds great. <laughs> okay, I am getting ready for the day and I'm just gonna take my braid out. out. I feel like I've shown you guys this process a couple times before on the vlogs, but it is honestly really tedious. I have a question. Well, I'm kind of voicing a concern here, but my hair now, it's like so, so dry to the point where I don't know what to do to keep it super moisturized in this desert dryness. It's so burnt. It literally feels like it's um, there's some breakage being caused by this. So if you guys have any suggestions on how I can keep this like moisturized, please let me know because I'm honestly, I'm honestly terrified for my hair. Um, but I haven't really done any research on what I should do to keep it moisturized. I obviously like put oil in it and like when I wash it, I put leave-in conditioner, but I feel like I should be doing something else to just keep it moisturized and protected. But it's so funny because I was just watching a YouTube video where the girl was like talking and she's doing her hair and I was like, that is so distracting. And here I am doing the same thing. Before we go to the cooking class, I want to go to Trader Joe's and get some of these. They have these really good like sparkling juice beverages. I don't really drink that much anymore. Not that I drank a lot anyway in the first place. I would literally drink like two to three times a month for like just like social outings and stuff like dinners. But I really do not drink anymore. I think I've maybe had like two drinks since Mitch and I have gotten married and I don't really miss it. So anyway, I digress. At the um, cooking class, you can bring your own drinks. So I want to bring a little sparkling beverage because I always love to have a little drink next to me when I'm cooking. It just makes it so much more fun and enjoyable. Trader Joe's literally has the best like fun drinks in my opinion. Okay, I will be back after I'm done doing this because it literally takes me like 20 minutes. So, okay, I wasn't going to, but I feel like I just need to show this hat because we have to leave soon. And you guys are probably gonna be like, yeah, we know this. But for anyone out there, I have this pair of jeans. As you can see, it's wrinkly because I um, hung it up to dry. So to get the wrinkles out, using a spray bottle with water just gonna like lightly spray it to get it kind of like moist and then I'm gonna throw it in the dryer for like a couple minutes and all the wrinkles are gonna be gone so simple and easy if you're like in a rush and need to get wrinkles out of your clothes I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we literally have to leave in like three minutes but I'm gonna put my hair in a claw clip Oh, I knew you were coming in. I could like hear your presence coming. I got this box of, oh, I got this box of claw clips on Amazon. So I'm gonna clip up my hair. Look at how many colors they have. And they're like all neutral colors. So they go with everything and they come in like this style. And then they also come in this style. You can be oh. in the video, Lily. <laughs> Going with black. Appropriate for the Ooh. Yes, that is very sexy. I like that. I like it. Honestly, never done a claw clip hairstyle like this before. Okay, there we go. So we put it in a little pony, like midway, and then flip it up. <gasps> so 
cute. Oh, that's kind of weird looking, but. Kind of just talking to myself. <laughs> Let's get some bobby pins going in here because. She's gonna have to do. All right, I'm gonna switch to my phone quality, so it's gonna be a little different, but I'm gonna vlog as much as I can for you guys. We are almost there. I'm so excited. Like I said, Mitch and I have never done a cooking class together or separately, for me at least. Have you ever done a separate cooking class? Like facts class? Oh, that doesn't count. <laughs> that does not count, like a high school cooking class. Yeah. Everybody had to do that. Wait, what does fact stand for? Oh, family and fam science. There we go. <laughs> family and cooking science. But anyway, so. Oh, shit. Whoa, my God. Oh, my God. Would we have been in the wrong for that? He was in a crosswalk when yeah. my light turned green and I didn't see him. Yeah, ooh, yikes. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, after we just killed someone, back to us. I'm just kidding. No, seriously. Um, this class is like a, it's like barbecue inspired, just like, um, I think, right? Barbecue inspired. We got some like habanero wings, some like butter garlic steak, and I think maybe ribs. We'll see, but we're pulling up right now. It's kind of a questionable area. hello you guys it is like a few days later but it's okay because we're gonna keep the good vibes going in this vlog there we go the lighting's a little better but we are gonna be hanging out in scottsdale today because some of mitch's family is here not his immediate family but like his cousins and his aunt and uncle so it's gonna be really fun i'm not probably gonna vlog like the family and stuff but i will of course vlog like what we're doing today i did want to give like a little recap super quick recap update on the cooking class that we just did mitch and i really enjoyed it that was our first time ever doing something like that which is crazy because we've been together almost seven years and we've never done anything like that together so we definitely want to do something like that again, probably at a different place. Not that that place was bad, but basically he had us just like following recipes. Next time, I definitely want to go somewhere where they're teaching us like actual like chef tips and skills, but that place was fun. For the first time we met some people and that was kind of our objective of doing the cooking class, not only for us, but just to get out into Arizona and meet the people here. So it was really fun, but I just got dressed for the day. This is honestly not the best corner for like mirror pictures because it's kind of dark. I just turned the exposure up. But besides the shoes, this is what I'm wearing today. I got this little cute tank top from a spa in Texas called Aloe and Milk Spa. They also have like a little boutique in there and some really cute clothes. So I got this tank top and it's like this pink mauve, which I discovered recently is like my color based on the day that i was born of the year i love stuff like that so apparently mauve is like my color and you know what i'm not mad about it it's cute 
And then I just got these jeans on. I got these from H&M. I've had these for a while. This is the fit. I'm gonna make some lunch before we go. We're just gonna have some pot stickers from Trader Joe's. These pot stickers are the best thing ever. I also have to film a little TikTok video before we go of this universal universal yums but basically you get an entire box of snacks from a different country so we got taiwanese snacks and i am so excited to try them so follow me on tiktok if you're not already if you want to see my review of the taiwanese snacks Checking out a new coffee shop in Scottsdale. So many things in my head. I don't even know what I'm thinking at the time. Think I gotta rewind. Think about what's going on. Think about why I wanna die. Think I gotta Gorge. Gorge. Ugh. Ugh. Stop. 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 Babe. Babe. Mitchell. Stop. Oh Stop. my god. Stop. You guys. Are you kidding, kidding me right now? I cannot I stand, stand you. you. Stop. <laughs> Are you guys Did hearing you? him? What is your problem? Nothing <laughs> get it done. Nothing that I do. Wish I had another way to go through. What it get to you? What is it to you? Could you help me if I told you what I need to? Uh, feels like I'm supposed to. I've been working on the ground, I ain't want to. But bouncing out the basement. I've been hiding from the world, wanna change shit. What I gotta do. So we're trying to get to the Airbnb. And this is where it's leading us, just on this dirt trail, road. <laughs> I don't know. We have to be in the right area because yeah. there's houses, but look at this. What? Wow. <laughs> We're in our little Mazda. I don't know if. Hey, it's an SUV. <laughs> it's got all wheel drive, right? It's got all wheel drive. All wheel drive. Okay, we should be good, but this is. Jesus. <laughs> oh, look at the house. It's so beautiful. Look at the houses out here though. They're so beautiful and unique. I love them so much. It's definitely raining though. This is like our second, no, this is like my third time. We've been here for like a month and almost a half. This is like the second or third time we've experienced rain. Good thing we're making it there right before it starts like raining and this gets all wait hopefully this doesn't get muddy no I, I think we're on the edge right it's like over in the mountains okay i think it breaks up as it comes out oh <laughs> this is is our car gonna make it up oh yeah oh like, my god at, our car is not like a Kia or something. <laughs> i know it's just concerning This one right here. Oh, and we made it. Oh, this is a cute little house. Definitely not a little house, but it's a cute house. So now we talk about the truth. I don't have no problems with you. Trying to stick around without the glue.